Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Build. Make sure you hit like and favorite and subscribe right now if you want to see more big builds in Minecraft. Now here we are at the castle city of Arendelle from Disney's movie Frozen. It was a lot of fun to do this build, one of the most fun builds I've done for a while. Frozen was like a massive movie favorite of mine and so it was just a real joy to come and build something from that, from that movie. But what I said before I'd completed this castle is that the build wouldn't truly be complete until we had somewhere out in the frozen wastes Elsa's frozen ice palace. So that's what we're going to be doing this episode. And now I used World Painter to craft or terraform this colossal ice mountain. It took me a long time to get this looking the way it has. But out in the middle of nowhere, in the desolate frozen wastes, we have our foundations for building Elsa's Ice Palace. And so you see me here building where the stairway up to the Ice Palace is going to go, and then building down from that to give us a kind of center for the build. And I'm using a Minecraft circle here to just mark off where the core is going to be for our frozen ice palace. Now to make things easier, because I can't use World Edit or Voxel Sniper, which are two very cool building mods, what I have done is I've used Extra Utilities, which is a pretty cool mod, but it introduces something called a Builder's Wand. And it's such an awesome tool that lets me build up a pattern very quickly. So when I paint a sphere, or rather when I paint a circle on the ground, I can use the Builder's Wand to just build that up really quickly. And that's what you see me here doing in the background. Through the beauty of time-lapse magic, you can see all that just go up super quick. It's a super useful tool, and I don't know how I would have done this build without it. Now, one of the big problems I had with this build is the fact that the whole thing is made out of ice. Elsa's ice castle is, as you know, made out of ice. And there aren't that many ice blocks in Minecraft. There's snow, which is useful. There's also packed ice in the newer versions of Minecraft and regular ice. So to mix it up, what I'm also doing is I'm using a block from Extra Utilities called, I think it's Frozen Stone. And it's just a very kind of light blue, crisp, white, sharp block that lets me add definition to the edges of this build. Now, the way the Ice Fortress is built, you can see when you watch the actual movie, the whole castle literally sprouts out from the ground as kind of frozen icicles. So the best way to approach this build is to imagine it as just a fortressy kind of shape that's been formed from loads of ice just thrusting through the earth and reaching up towards the sky. Now I've used a couple of techniques to make the ice look different here because ice blocks themselves are kind of see-through. So what you can do, and it's quite a subtle effect because the ice isn't very see-through, but what you can do is you can put the ice in front of a different kind of block. And so here on the sides, on these side kind of spiky uh, outreaches of the castle, what I've done is I've got a layer of blue wool inside and on the outside, I've encrusted it in ice blocks, so when you look at the ice, you can see through that cool dark blue inside it, and it adds just a little bit of effect and a little bit of differentiation to the build, because I can only use ice to build this ice fortress, so I'm going to use whatever methods I can to make it look nice and varied. And also I was using the frozen stone, like I'd said, on the edges and in certain parts of the towers just to give them a bit more shape and to highlight what it looks like. Now are these, there are these kind of ice horns on the castle itself, and so that's what I'm building here. You see around the left, you can see the one on the right, the one on the left, and the one on the far left. And these are just kind of like spikes that jut out, almost like a frozen rose, like petals almost. But every rose has its thorn, and Elsa's Ice Palace has spikes, really tall reaching spires, on those little outreachings. Now it was time to come around to the staircase at the front. Now this is a completely frozen staircase. 
And again, I'm using regular ice, but on the edges, I'm using this light blue frozen stone that has edges that are very white and crisp. And I'm using that frozen stone as the railings. And here you can see the completed frozen staircase effect. Also again using the frozen stone on the edges here of the cylinders to give it a bit more detail and to bring the palace to life a little bit more. Now when you get to the top of the staircase there is a large door so we've got that there but also just above the door is a big balcony. So I crafted that out of ice, and then once I had the balcony and the main doorway in place, it was time to dig even higher, and using the magic wand, and build the core even higher. Now we had to be careful because we're getting very close to the peak of the mountain, and the peak of the mountain is actually at the build height limit for Minecraft, which means we can't build anything higher than that, the game just won't let us. So again, once I had that cylinder built up, I chiseled away at it to give a bit of detail to the top of the build. But this fortress itself is quite thin. There's not enough meat to this pie. So I came around the back and putting down first a layer of blue wool that again we're going to surround in see-through ice. I built a back to this fortress just to make it a bit fatter and to make it a bit chunkier and look a bit more like a rounded fortress. And then when that segment was done, it was time to use the magic builder's wand to build first down to the ground. And then up to reach into the sky. But of course I had to build a layer of see-through ice as well around that back. And there we are, slowly building up with the magic wand. Now once we built all the way up, it was again time to build the spire of this fortress. So again, I'm using blue wool here, dark blue wool. And again, I'm going to be surrounding this in plain ice. Although, to be honest, now blue wool, it's wool, but it still kind of looks cold and like ice. So in some ways, I probably could have used different colors of blue wool for this build. But I didn't really want to because the texture isn't quite ice. I wanted to stick as close to the original as possible. So I made sure that all the materials I use were as ice cold and as frozen as possible. Now here you can see half of the peak done. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be copy and pasting because the peak was a very complicated build. What I'm going to be doing is copy and pasting the peak to repeat the pattern on the left over on the right. And now with the peak pretty much taken care of, it was time to put in some ice shards. So I put these sloped circles in and then once these sloped ice circles were in place, using the builder's wand, I dragged the pattern down in a cylinder shape. And that's the key to this fortress. What it's been is having the strong core with the stairs and the horns at the side, but then adding to it with these frozen ice shards. Because the castle itself has to look half like a fortress, half like it's just a bunch of ice that's climbed and been like kind of poked out from the ground. One of the things I really wanted to do with this build was to make it glow because I know you've all seen pictures of the frozen ice palace glowing kind of a bluey purpley at night and, and sparkling like Aurora Borealis actually like the northern lights but unfortunately every single block that emits light except redstone torches will melt ice and redstone torches aren't bright enough to be hidden behind ice and still produce a glow. So unfortunately there's no glow on this build but it's still looking like a pretty menacing and cool frozen structure out here in the wilderness. Now I experimented a bit here with blue stained glass but again it wasn't ice and when you break away from ice for this build it just felt a bit wrong. So I made sure to stick to only frozen materials. 
Now again, coming over to the side here and adding these tall spires on the side. And now doing a bit of detail work on the front of the citadel above the main door. Now you can see the whole effect has been copied. I copied most of the castle and flipped it around so the whole thing is mirrored right down the center. Now it was a bit thin, even so, at the back. So I came around here and built down another colossal ice shard that's holding the whole thing up as support. And what a perfect way to brace the castle with even more ice. Now we were missing one spiked horn out here on the left. So I came out here with a kind of spear shaped arrangement of blue wool blocks. I trimmed at it and, and kept on crafting with it until I was happy with the precise shape. And then again, because it's blue wool surrounded by see-through ice, I came around the edge with the see-through ice and using the builder's wand, just built down with the wool and then cased it in the see-through ice. Now again, these are horns or kind of like petal shapes on the side of the castle. So the edge of them, the very, the very sharp point furthest away from the castle has to be quite tall and it has to kind of slope and curve downwards towards the castle. So I built up with the wool and curved it as best I could, again surrounding it in the see-through ice. Oh man, it's been so fun to do this build. This has been one of my favorite things I was looking forward to. But unfortunately, when it's something that you want to do so badly, you kind of hold off on doing it because you want to do a good job and you want to do the build justice. Then again, using the frozen stone here at the edge to build that spire. And here we go, Elsa's frozen fortress on the mountaintop. I finally pretty much finished my Arendelle build. I say that, but I'm definitely going to come back because I love the movie so much. I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish the town and have this be a complete set piece. Ah, oh, this has been a lot of fun to build. And I really can't wait to approach my next one. I'm thinking maybe the cottage from Maleficent. And now we draw to a frozen icy close to let's build Elsa's ice fortress. Hit like and favorite and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for some more big Minecraft builds. Take care.